Yeah, I can only imagine, man, because, like, you know, I got a family. I got kids and shit. I'm like, bro, I would never want to be. Uh, I mean, I feel like the type of shit I do, I, I purposely don't touch certain shit because I don't want to, like, overexpose myself, I guess, and mm -hmm. my kids and my girl mm -hmm. and shit. So I, I even told Adam, when all this shit has been going on the last few weeks, I was like, bro, you got some fucking thick skin, brother, because... This shit is crazy. They would have been on your ass if you had gone over there permanently. Oh my yeah. God. But even just like just seeing like, you know, because I know Adam like it um addressed whatever allegations over and over. So I'm like, yo, this shit got brought back up. And I'm like, bro. He, here's here's the thing, and I want your opinion on this. Yeah. I genuinely believe that if Adam had not gone on that pod right when I was on there and fired me in the very unceremonious manner in which he did, a lot of that shit wouldn't have happened. I agree. And I think I might have said something to that effect on the podcast. I think you might have. Yeah, I did. I, I, did, I did say something like that. I was like, because I, I do think that that moment was so viral and it also highlighted whatever said issues that, and I even told AD this when he was on here. I was like, you were planning on leaving. Because there ain't no way yeah. thick-skinned ass AD I know got so mad about someone saying he has four jokes that he quit. Like, you was planning this shit. You know nah, but, but here's the thing. AD for sure was... And I've know, been telling him he should leave. I told but, him and T-Rail, like, you guys should be the fucking LA drink champs. For and, real. And, they, and they got their own thing going. And right. It's going really well for them. Here's the thing. It kind of forced AD's hand. It did with it being publicized, and, it was, and, it, and it was also a nice opportunity. If you were planning on leaving already, and those wheels were already in motion, it was a nice opportunity to kind of take advantage of the of, well, the, of the you know the, the virality of the moment. And I think it, it was mutual. I think that Adam and No Jumper was wanting to pivot away from that, considering they are it, it's, at a certain point is a conflict of interest. When there's other podcasts with, I don't want to say regurgitating, but utilizing right. the same content that you are and getting more views for it. I'd assume he probably regrets firing you at the time. He, and, and like, not to say that he shouldn't have fired me, but he could have easily taken me outside. No, and I think, and I think he, he explained it to me like, if you catch some girl cheating on you and she's at work. And you're in the next room. If you caught your girl cheating on you, you're going to be so fucking pissed. You're fucking going in, then you're fucking up her job. Like, and I was like, yeah, I get it. If like you guys had that relationship and he truly felt like, what the fuck? Like, I, it was short sighted. And that is why people should not ever make certain decisions when they're emotional because you always regret those decisions. 100%. But I do think that had he handled it a little better, and I, I'm sure he admit, would admit the same thing. But here's the thing, like, to an extent, I, and, and that's what I was kind of going back and forth in my head was, was he just so mad? And I, I don't know that was an element, but I honestly think that's Cap to an extent. It might be because it was the, a moment. And the reason why I think that he thought that he was going to dunk on me, you feel me? And everybody was just going to be like, oh, damn, Adam just fucking marked Lush out. Right. Damn, Lush is such a snake. Fuck him. Right. And they were going to be like, yeah, Adam, you're the man. You look so cool. Because if, if, he, if this is something he regretted, then why did he post it not only on the As no a collab G post? That's the one thing I the did. The collab yeah. post yeah, yeah, yeah. is crazy. I think I said that at lunch. Because I, cause I think he said, and, I, and my boy uh, Arza showed me, and I was like, oh, he collab posted this. He collab oh, so, shit. so not only the No Jumper fans <laughs> right. are going to see it, but his fans, and now it's gotten millions of views. 95% of the comments are on his helmet. Like, right. he, this is a dude that has stated several times, and this isn't a diss to Adam at all. Because, right, right. you know, ultimately, all this aside, I do respect him, you know? He said, everything is content. Everything is fair game, you know? So I believe he's like, fuck it. Like, oh, firing Lush? That's one thing. Let's fire Lush on, on the air. And then it wound up, you know, kind of having an adverse effect that he hadn't anticipated.